चल आएगा क्वेश्चन लाइफ का देर आर मेरी कपल्स हु आपका मैरिज डिसाइड नॉट टू हैव चिल्ड्रन एवर इन दियर लाइफ दे से डेट दे आर हैप्पी विदाउट डेट एंड डजेंट नीड चिल्ड्रन दे यूज परमानेंट और टेम्प्ररी मेथड एज वेल फॉर नो सराई रीजन दे से डेट हैविंग चिल्ड्रन इज नॉट फर्स एट ऑल सो इट्स अप टू अस वी वॉन्ट और डोंट वॉन्ट सो माई क्वेश्चन इज विल दे बी सिंपल फॉर हैविंग दिस इंटेंशन नॉट टू हैव चिल्ड्रन एवर and then they use the cautions for that as well will they be sinful and accountable for that and will those also be sinful who give advice to such couples that it's your life so i believe as you want if you don't want it's okay so i would like your guidance about this matter inshallah okay any more questions no no sir okay i will answer inshallah kalthum says that what is the ruling on a couple who get married and they agree among themselves though they have no obstacles nothing to prevent them from having children and reproducing and they agree not to have any children they have justifications that it's difficult we, we don't want to whatever so what's the ruling on that and what's the ruling on people who advise them of such things first of all to agree not to have children goes against the reason of getting married getting married is not only for sexual pleasure but rather to also reproduce and this is why allah made marriage uh, uh, for humans so that they can uh, uh, reproduce and have children and life would go on the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said marry the woman who is kind who is productive or fertile because i will boast with my followers and ummah on the day of judgment among the other prophets and messengers that i have the biggest followers so the prophet is telling us to marry a woman that can give birth to children and she is fertile one would say how would i know sheikh take her for a test drive ha 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 no this is not what is meant the scholars say that you know if a woman is most likely to be fertile by her sisters by her family so if she has like five six sisters and they all have children the most likelihood is that she is also like them but if she has three or four barren uh, 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 sisters or allah did not bless them with children so you might be hesitant look somewhere else and also the prophet as salam was approached by one of his companions and his companion said to him oh prophet of allah i want to marry a woman but she does not give uh, 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 she cannot conceive most likely she got married once twice before and she failed Uh, to conceive and this is not within her reach it is not something wrong with her this is how allah created her so she's not she's not to be blamed to that for that so the prophet said ali sam do not marry her and the man repeated it and he said do not marry her and the th- man repeated for the third time the woman is a bombshell probably or from a good lineage or rich there is something drawing him to marry her So the prophet Ali Sussam stated that you have to marry a woman who is fertile and can give birth to children. This is the essence of marriage. And hence scholars say that agreeing to such a condition is invalid in marriage. And it, a man or a woman must not abide by it because it is sinful. It goes against Allah's religion. So you're choosing something out of your own mind and whims and it is against what allah has prescribed for us those who advise them not to have children forever as they are as, as sinful as they are now there is a difference between not having children forever or someone saying to me listen sheikh i'm going to get married but the next 3 years we don't have, want to have children because i'm doing my phd because she is uh uh trying to finish her medical school what, what there is a reason a legitimate reason but to come 
and say, I don't want to have children at all. And this happens to a lot of the men who wants to marry a second wife. So they make it a condition. I have from my first wife children, but for the second wife, I said, listen, I'll marry you on the condition that you don't bear children. This is haram. And this condition is void. And hence, that is sinful. May Allah Azza wa guide Muslims back to Islam.